My name is Stasia Smit and I am from Pretoria. I was diagnosed with myopia. Um, I started at about the age of 19 years old where I struggled to look beyond 30 centimeters and I started wearing glasses from the age of 20. So I've been wearing glasses now for 16 years. Well, in some situations it is quite limiting. I remember going to Mozambique once and we wanted to swim, swim with the dolphins and I actually took out um, my glasses and placed them within the goggles to try and see in the ocean. Um, when I became a mother, I'm a very playful parent. So the only issue with being a mother with glasses is that my toddlers always wanted to grab for them. And most recently, both my glasses, my, the one I usually use, broke and my spear broke. And that's when I started researching refractive surgery and looking at my options. Well, I've got a very good friend. One of my best friends uh, works in the industry. And because of my own experience in the healthcare industry, I was aware of Dr. Dylan Joseph. So I did some research and I made my decision to come to Neisner and to do it with Dr. Dylan. I was excitingly nervous, let me put it like that. I was not scared of the procedure. I was very excited. I, I did trust the whole process. Lots of people have gone through it. And I'm a millennial, so I do a lot of my research. I was very comfortable. I was just nervous, you know, what to expect. Will it be painful? How would it be? So um, it, it was worth it all. I was shocked about how quick it is. It's extremely quick. Um, it wasn't painful. A couple of seconds of discomfort. If I knew what I know now, I would have done this years ago. I, I asked the doctor and his team, can we listen to a bit of Queen? And the first um, song that played was actually, I want to break free. And I thought, how appropriate is that? I'm breaking free from these glasses. Well, I remember getting up and thinking, and I remember the first thing, because I wanted a photo with, with the doctor, um, and I remember looking up and there was writing against the wall, and I could read it. That was amazing. It was a bit hazy, it was like a white cloud was in front of my eyes, but I could read. That was the, f it's actually, I'm feeling a bit emotional, it's, it's amazing because I never would that have been able if I didn't wear my glasses or contact lenses. I'm looking forward to swimming. I'm really looking forward to horse riding, just looking out into the views and, and mesmerizing it, you know, um, and playing with my kids. My kids still wake up during the night, so I have to get up, try to get around with blurry vision, and it's not needed anymore. So I'm seeing this as real freedom, real freedom. The message I would give to anyone considering this, um, bearing in mind what my experience was, this for me now is a no-brainer. It is so easy, so worth it, um, and it, it's been an investment in myself, an investment in my happiness, investment in experiences. I, today I make my decisions based on the experience that it will contribute to my life, and this is one of them. And being free, uh, really being free and being able to, to enjoy visual experiences without the limitations of the glasses or the contact lenses. And for that, I am, no words can describe that.